to Mr. Red Plays Canarium. The game is paused. I don't know if you know that. Let's go back into it. Um, I am intrigued by this. It seems so. My my thoughts so far. This is this game seems very well, well built. Like it's not really it's not buggy. It doesn't seem to be. Ah, oh, Doctor Fast Room is locked. It doesn't seem to be too. Uh, this is my room. Um, I don't I don't know. I don't know what the thing is. Some games have it, you know, and this game feels like it has it. So I'm 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 intrigued Did by it. I lock my door. I don't remember where my keys are. Oh no, we have to go searching for my keys again. What is this? Uh, friggin' Bendy and the Ink Machine. What's this? Is this a door or a screen? I mean, a window or a screen? I think it's a window. I think I think it's I think it's just icy outside, so that's not gonna help us out. Well, there. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You run very fast. <laughs> you run very fast. This is a way that I haven't gone yet. Let's check it out. Uh, bunk beds. That's cool. I'm into that. Check out some bunk beds. Hey, I like your mustache, guy. Who's this? Whose room is this? Where am I? What, what, what do we got? Is this a journal I can read? No? Cool. Got some goggles, though. That's pretty fun. Here we go. Oh, Hanson's Notes, too. These nightmares... This is like different handwriting. That's pretty cool. Uh, these nightmares have become unbearable. I still see the same man in my nocturnal visions. But now he is holding something in his hand, which I believe to be a lotus flower. Okay. We seem to be continuing this grave and serious conversation again and again. But I still can't remember the contents. During working hours, sometimes, I hear his voice through the radio. It is not in the for a form of meaningful sentences, but more like some unconscious mutterings. I'm afraid to tell anyone about this, for I hate the very idea of the suspension I will probably be facing. Yeah, that sounds like a real problem for you. I think a coat hanger, though, so if you're tired of wearing your jacket, you got something, something there. Here's two more, in case you're running low. That's nice. I keep hearing sound effects, like I just heard a creaking sound that made me believe that something was moving or going to happen. Also, I think I came from this way, so I want to go explore this place next. More bunk beds! Hell yes! I love it here. What is going on here? Is this... I think that's an ashtray sitting... Maybe not? I don't super know what I'm looking at. At first I thought it was a uh, like a toilet, like a you know, a seat with a hole in it. But now I think that that's like protruding. But now I think it's like a bowl, but like a weirdly textured bowl. I don't know, I don't care. What's this? Hey, it's Mothra. Very reflective Mothra. Ow. Okay. All right. We're having fun here. Let's explore some more. I'm having fun. More babies. Why does everybody have babies? Babies having babies, that's what I say. More coats. Gla go gloggles. <laughs> Can't really do anything with any of this stuff, though. That's the thing. That That's that's the thing. Here we go, sketchbook! Oh, oh, here we go. This was, uh, this was, uh, the thing. I saw this earlier. One of the composite sculptures we've come across during our initial field trips. I love field trips. It is open. It has an open third eye on its forehead, just like uh, the fake Frank did. The fairy, fret, Frank, Frank, the Frank. There we go. Uh, which I think indicates some kind of state of knowing, because illusions to knowledge and the elder things recur all the time in almost every bass relief. Base bass. Okay, we have discovered so far. All this leads me to believe these creatures inhabiting these walls have acquired some kind of knowledge from the Elder Things, fabled creatures of primal myths. This is terrifying, by the way. These, I don't like these at all. Several other examples of the composite sculptures ranging from humanoid to reptilian in shape. They were mostly damaged and generally in really bad shape. The lost parts were complete, completed by the artist's imagination. Dragons? I don't even know what the hell this thing is. It looks like a, a shell, but like with um, tendrils. The abundance of five-pointed shapes seen in the design of the structures we've come across cannot be overlooked. Okay, I won't then. In addition, most of the elegant figures adorning and staring silently from above most of the gigantic gateways are reptilian in shape. Yikes. Oh, yikes alive. I'm getting real strong, um, 
what is it? My beautiful paper smile vibes from all this. This grotesque masonry caused an uproar with the countenance it wore on its reptilian face when we first found it residing within the almost substantial darkness of the cave where it had been carved in aeons past. Run on sentences, guys. Chop them up. Give me some commas. Give me some periods. Give me some semicolons. Some of the crew even claimed that they had heard some muffled laughing sounds coming from within it. No! No, no! None of that now. The pine cone it was guarding or hiding with its humanoid hands... Okay. Has some symbols carved into it which we are yet to decipher. Are these the symbols? I assume so. Alright. I found another trophy item. That's good. Dude... I gotta be honest, I'm not entirely sure what's happening, but I'm here for it. Alright, more room explorations. Let's open both these doors. Uh-oh. I'm really boxing myself in. Alright, this one first. What do we got? We got some boxes. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. More babies. Why does everybody have kids that are babies? Where's all the, like, the teenage sons and daughters? And these are all boys, too. Are these all the same kid? I don't know. I found my keys, and some gloves that look weirdly elongated, but they're probably not. Boom. What do we got? Jo Johan DeWitt. Oh! Uh, for the, uh, for the, uh, for the, uh, um, locker. Hey, go back to the locker. Alright. Now I'm getting real strong layers of fear vibes from all this. And you know, if I made a video game, which I've never done, uh, that's not a son. That's not a child. I mean, it's somebody's son. Or it's son buddies. If I made a video game, I wouldn't want people comparing it to other video games, so I'll stop doing that. But I call them as I sneeze them. <laughs> There's two people. One of them has a glorious mustache, just like that other guy. Oops. So, is the point of these pictures just world building, or am I supposed to, like, memorize these people? I am inclined more towards the notion that our nocturnal visions are not just faint and fantastic reflections of our waking experiences. Every time I pass into a state of dormancy, some people just call it sleeping, but whatever, somehow I can explore while I am dreaming the vistas of grandeur. Again, you just say dreaming. An alien prospect in unnatural disposition, so vividly expressing the outer extent of this world I have yet to discover. If only I was endowed <laughs> with the artistic skill to describe my visions. All I know is that all this became evident after the Canarium Sessions had started. Even though I am not one of the participants, I am somehow affected. I feel I am absorbed while in an unconscious state into the oblivion, crossing the line beyond the wall of sleep. All right, cool. Ferguson, you need some help. Everybody at this base needs some help. Maybe that's why everybody went missing? They were all, like, uh, searching for a therapist? All right, I'll, I'll look through these last two rooms. It's locked. All right, then. I'll look through this last thing here. All right, then. Painkillers. Uh, and then I'll go back to the lockers, because I have a key now. Can I look at my what's the inventory? Let's... Hmm, how do you look at your inventory? It's got to be like uh, this button. Yeah, here we go. Okay, a strange device was already on my left arm when I came around inside the meeting room of the Upuna, Upuout Antarctic base. It comes as no surprise that I don't remember anything about it. So you were already, uh, where? You didn't, this is a surprise to you? Well, it comes as no surprise, but I, I assumed he would know about this, but he didn't. A torch I found in the meeting room. Standard walkie-talkie. An object like looks like a handle of some sort. And a key with the tag on it that reads Johann DeWitt. Great. Can we examine with the X button, which I believe is this one? Yeah, there we go. Alright, so let's examine this thing. What does it do? What does it do? What 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 is what is this? What does it do? Does it change as I move, by the way? I don't think it does. It's kind of hard to see. I don't rem I don't remember where the lockers are. It's impossible to find them. They could be anywhere. All right, here we go. Let's open up. Oh, uh, 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 hold on. Let's try this. Wait. Oh, it worked. Okay, I just had to use it first. All right, here we go. I found a note about a mental problem. <laughs> That's good. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, wait a second. Whoa, wait a second. Here we go. Okay. Whew. 
I've noticed a very curious and dangerous development in the psychological condition of the whole crew that compels me to record this note as an initial diagnosis report. The problem is especially intense for three subjects. Dr. Barlow, Dr. Anderson, and Frank Gilman, uh-oh, that's me, whom I have been inspecting closely since the onset of their psycho phys psych psychological de degradation. During the past two nights, the aforementioned subjects... Were there four or were there three? <laughs> Awoke, screaming in their beds, thus affecting and demoralizing all the crew members. Hmm. When I spoke to them personally, I noticed some serious devi deviations in their behavior patterns. As time progressed, I noted deep changes in their mental conditions. When really pushed, they clearly started to behave like someone else, which led me to believe I was facing some sort of multiple personality disorder. But it's too early to draw any conclusions, except for the one that I just did. Other subjects are not too far a cry, far cry, good game, from their normal personalities, but the difference is, of course, obvious. Oh, good. Their condition is getting worse day by day, and a serious medical examination is needed to be carried out on everybody displaying such symptoms. I informed Dr. Faust and, he, and warned him about the consequences. He looked worried, but nevertheless hasn't mentioned it to me since. With the weather conditions we've been having lately, it seems extremely unlikely that we shall receive professional help from the outside world, or we'll be able to send anybody away for a thorough medical examination, which is the only sane thing to do under the circumstances. That sucks. If his coat is yeah, 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 okay. Right here, where is he now? All right. Um. Well, I don't know. What did we learn from that? I guess all this stuff we're kind of like just compiling information. I'm going to leave these open because that helps me learn what we've been to. And also, can I assume that I'm going to be entering these other lockers now? It is interesting that, like, this is what I mean by, like, the polish of this game. It, it has it, you know what I mean? Because there's, like, these characters, David Burka, Ferguson, Hansen, DeWitt, Well, Brown, Anderson, Lenning. Barlow. And, like, we're gonna learn about them because, like, they have lockers, right? Like, I mean, not... They have lockers, they also have, uh, dorms. They have, like, dorms and workstations and everything. Also, this door I opened before, and it closed itself, and I don't like that. Anyway, yeah, so, good. We're doing it. It's gonna be fine. It's, 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 it's fun. So, tune in tomorrow for more exciting Canarium adventures. I'm really looking forward to this game. I think it's gonna be a treat. I uh, am excited to like get into it. I want to. I want to find stuff out. I want to know where these people are. My theory is that they went all running. Something was chasing them. They ran out into the cold because they were just terrified, and then got lost out there. Uh, the Shining style. So no spoilers. Uh, but we'll see. I don't know. Um, obviously, I'm sure there are twists and turns. So let's let's figure it out together, you and I. Until the next time, which is again tomorrow. Uh, by the way, Emily wants to play is happening. There's a new episode of that on Tuesday. Not tomorrow, but Tuesday. And uh, that's going to be going on. So tune in for that as well. Yesterday was another Emily Wants to Play. It's all... There's there's lots of videos. Every day I put out new videos. Go watch them. Go check out. Patreon.com slash Mr. Plays as well is a good time. Good place to be. Also, I keep pausing, and then I... Th I don't know how this happens. Like, I set my controller down, and it unpauses. Doesn't matter. Point is, see you the next time, everybody. Goodbye, and stay spooky out there, everybody.